Hello everybody and welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily add advertisement or any element within your loop grid. And mind you, this method works for both post loop and then the product loop. In this situation, this is the product loop. And at the end of the tutorial, this is what we're going to achieve. We're going to add an advert, something like this here and also here and here as well. So without further ado, let's dive in and get started. So take for instance this loop in particular, this is a product loop and this is the loop we want to add adverts um, within it. It, it even has um, a pagination at the bottom here as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on edit the loop, not edit template but rather edit. That's this button here, we're just going to click on edit or we just on this loop, we just right click and then we'll click on edit the loop. Now this is what it loads for us and then we'll scroll down and come down to where it says apply alternate template. We're just going to tog toggle this on. Alright, so now once it loads up, now this is what we see, alternate template. Now the, what we'll do next is that it says we should choose uh, a starting, uh, we should choose a template. Uh, if you already have a template that you've created for that particular design uh, advert you want to add to, you, to your loop, you can just select it here, you can just search it here and then add it there. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a template from scratch. So we're just going to click on create template, then we'll click on save. Alright, now this is what we get. So now the next thing you're just gonna do is just gonna click on this plus icon and then you select either flexbus or grid. We're gonna use a flexbus container and then this is what we get. So for this, we're just gonna give the our container a minimum height of 400 pixel. 400 pixel. And then we're gonna set the justify content to the center. And we'll go to the styling option. For the styling option, we're gonna add a background type, classic, and then we're gonna add an image to it. So uh, this is the image we're going to add. We just select this image and then we we'll set the image position to uh, to center right and then we we'll set the repeat to no repeat and then for the display size we're going to set the display size to content so we'll have something like this. So the next thing we'll do, we'll go to the advanced settings and then we'll just give a padding of 20 pixels all around like this and then we're just going to add another element this time around we're going to add a text element. So we're going to drag it and then we're going to drop it here. So the text we're going to add is a uh, this text uh, uh, bring bring in uh, nature into your home bring in nature into your home something like this all right so uh, we're gonna add a minor code this code right here so it breaks and we we'll have something like this this is just a simple HTML code and the We'll have something like this now the next we're going to do we're going to style this text a bit so we'll come down here for the typography we're going to set the text font size to 35 pixel 35 pixel and then for the color we're going to set the color to something somehow something greenish like like this something greenish like this okay so now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add another element. This time around, we're going to add a button. Mind you, you can design your advert or whatever element you want to add within your loop, however you want. This is just for, for the purpose of this tutorial. So when you're doing yours, you can do whatever you want to do. So we're just going to call this shop now. So this is what we'll get. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a background to this button we're gonna add a background to this button so um, the color we're gonna use for the background is something like this um, something greenish or for something like this so as you can see this this looks beautiful yeah this looks this looks beautiful okay all right so the next thing we're just gonna do is first we're gonna um, rename and title our loop we're gonna title it add one ads one and then we're just gonna click on publish. I'm gonna click on publish. Now once this loads up, this has, is completed. The next thing we do we return back to our loop here, and then for the alternate template, we're just gonna uh, search here. I'm gonna search ads one, and automatically it's gonna bring up this loop we've created here. We're gonna see here. This is it. Then we're just gonna add it. Okay. Now, you can't see the loop anywhere here. The reason for that is we haven't set its position. So right here, position in the grid, we're going to set the position. We're going to set its position to first, the third position. So it's going to appear somewhere here. 
yep this is it as you can see this is what we have okay. so okay you can still add this you can still duplicate this template let's say you duplicate it and this time around the second one we're going to add uh, its position to let's let's bring it to this position this this should be the seventh position we just set it to the seventh position and allow for it to load you can see it's now on the seventh position you can see now we're gonna create another um template and then we're gonna add it also just let's let's do that briefly let's add an item now this time around we're also going to create a new template let's create another template so click on save allow for it to load and then it loads up for us all right so just like we did before we're going to select a flexbox container we'll select the structure and then for the container we're going to give it a minimum height of 400 pixel and set the content um, 400 pixel just like we did before and then make sure it's still set to column vertical there's a column direction and then justify content we're going to set it to the center as well so the next thing we do we'll go to the style options for the style option we're going to set um, a background classic and then we're going to add a background picture to it so this time around this is the image we're going to use this image we're just going to add it uh, don't don't worry if you're not seeing anything there it doesn't really matter the next thing we do is make sure set to image full size and then we come down to no repeat and then for the display size we're going to set it to cover so this is what we get so the next thing we're going to do is we'll now go down to the advanced settings for the advanced settings we we're going to add let's unlink this and then let's give it 20 pixel 20 pixel 20 pixel but for the uh, top we're going to leave the top at zero zero pixel so the next thing we're going to do we're going to add some text here so to do so we just come down here and then we're going to add a, a heading we'll drag it and drop it here and the text we're going to add here is this text uh, and then we just just like we did before add a simple html code to break the text like this and then like this so we'll have something like this and then we'll go to the style options for the style option we're just going to set uh, the typography we're going to set the font size to um let's say uh, 50 pixel sorry 50 is too large let's set it to 35 just like we did before so let's not get it twisted and then for the font color we're just going to add um this color let's see we add this front before yeah this color this looks wonderful uh then we just go back to the next tab to the other tab and then copy this uh, button just copy this button here rather than creating it operation then we just paste it right below here i we'll have something like this and then what we're going to do next is um uh, let's edit the container and then let's give it a uh, Let's give it a border. Let's give it a border radius. Let's give it a border radius of um should I say 10? No, 20 pixel. Let's give it a border radius of 20 pixel or uh, something like that. Okay. Yeah, this this looks beautiful. So and then don't forget to rename the loop. Now I'm gonna title this loop um uh, ADS2 so we know what we're gonna search for, and then we'll click on publish. Right, then we'll now head back to our loop. Then right here, we're gonna search for ADS two. Yeah, we can see ADS one and two. We'll select ADS two. And just like we did before, we're gonna set the position in the loop. We're gonna set it to uh, this position. This is like the fifth position. Yep, we're gonna set it to the fifth position. So at the end of the day, we're gonna have something that looks like so. So you can see okay now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do is let's just hit publish and then let's preview what we've done all right then now let's preview it okay you can see this looks wonderful now the, the good thing about this method of adding elements or adding advert to your within your loop is that in a situation where you have paginations in your loop like what we have here now if you should click on page two just see what will happen it's going to load up and then you're going to notice that the advert you've placed still maintains the same position 
as you can see this is just a wonderful way of adding elements or adverts within your loop and you can do the same thing for your uh, post uh, loop as well so if you find this video helpful please do us a favor by hitting the like button so that other people can find it as well and if you're new to our channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and then remember to hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next i drop a new video thank you for sticking to the end see you next time Bye bye